Alright, this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living, and today we're going to be talking all about cast iron. So I don't do a lot of videos from the kitchen, uh, but this is just one of those things that I've really become a champion of and I've just completely fell in love with using. Uh, and so I want to share that kind of with, uh, with you guys as well as, you know, same way I share with my friends and family, um, our experience with cast iron. This video is going to be kind of two parts. I'm going to talk a little bit of why we chose cast iron and why we're using it instead of some of our other cookware. Um, our experience with it, how we've liked it, and I'm also going to talk specifically about the brand of cast iron that we're using and uh, how well I've liked that as well. Okay, so like most families, we started off with a lot of these Teflon coated uh, pan, pots and pans and all different kinds of cookware that have this non-stick coating on the inside. Uh, this is a, you know, a nice one, KitchenAid, uh, these are pretty decent, and there's a lot of cheaper ones out there as well. But what we noticed over time is that this uh, Teflon coating or this, uh, this non-stick coating, whatever it might be, it does wear off over time. and. Uh, you know, somebody will scoop something out with a spoon or whatever while we're cooking or different things happen and you end up getting little scratches and scrapes in this stuff. And uh, that Teflon stuff is getting into your food. This also kind of leaves you stuck with using either wooden utensils or some type of plastic utensil because you can't use a steel spatula or any really good cookware uh, utensils on the Teflon coating because it'll scrape and scratch it. Um, and so we really wanted to try to get away from using plastic junk. Uh, this is not going to last a lifetime. You know, you, you buy these things for, for a couple bucks and you throw them away every year, it seems like. Uh, and so we wanted to get away from this stuff. So this stuff is, is junk. Uh, wooden ones aren't too bad. We, we use these sometimes as well. But uh, the, the really the best option for, for cookware is going to be something like a, a stainless steel. And we've got all new stainless steel uh, utensils now that uh, are, are, these are going to last a lifetime. So um, that was one of the things we really started looking into. We also don't want to use that plastic because that stuff is leaching into our food. The Teflon coatings, you know, there's your, whether they say it's safe or not, it's just something we wanted to start to get away from. So we started looking into cast iron, and I can tell you that uh, at first we had a lot of hesitation. Um, cast iron, you know, does require some seasoning, and there's different care with it. It's heavy, um, and we weren't sure, you know, how it was going to fit into our lifestyle. Um, how well is it going to work? You know, how well does it cook? We've got a glass top stove here. Is it going to scratch it up? Is it going to, you know, we, do we have to get a new stove and go gas and all that kind of stuff? So we went and took the leap and we bought a bunch of cast iron here. Um, the brand that we're using is the Lodge brand. I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, we just got a basic set here to start with. Uh, we've gotten, we've had this now for about six months. Uh, we've got a couple, a 10 inch skillet here, or a 10 inch uh, pan and a 10 inch skillet. Um, and we, or griddle, excuse me, and then we also have the 8-inch uh, uh, frying pan here, and then the 10-inch the Dutch oven. Um, this stuff has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I will do a separate video on how to care for cast iron and season it and all that kind of stuff, but this stuff does come pre-seasoned from the factory. Um, so you'll notice as soon as you buy it, it does have a pre-seasoned uh, um, um, finish to it. Um, it's not 100% non-stick. The longer you use it, the better. The more you season it, the better. And again, I'll talk more about that to, um, um, in another video. Um, but this stuff has been great. Uh, obviously, we can use all of our stainless steel utensils now, and we can, you know, you can work with this kind of stuff, spoons and, and uh, spatulas, and you don't have to worry about anything coming off. If you scrape this pan, the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to get some iron in your food. Um, completely non, uh, you know, toxic and, it, and completely harmless. These are pans, and I don't like to use the word forever because nothing really lasts forever. Um, but these are the pans that get handed down to generation to generation. They're heavy. They're never, ever, ever going to go bad. If you let it rust or don't take care of it or something bad happens, you can easily clean it up. Some steel wool and uh, you know some oil and re-season it, and you've got a pan that's just like new again. Um, you can use these over the campfire. Uh, we've had no problem on our glass top stove. They don't scratch or anything like that. Obviously, if you dropped it from a couple feet above the stove or something, I'm sure it would break the stove. So don't do that with any pan. Um, but these things have just been absolutely wonderful. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about the Lodge brand and uh, kind of why we chose this particular brand and how well that's been kind of fitting into our kitchen lifestyle here. 
Okay, so I just want to take a minute and talk a little bit about the cast iron brand that we have here. As I mentioned, this is a company called Lodge. Um, you, many of you have probably heard of them. They're available all over the place. Walmart has them, Amazon. Uh, you can probably buy them any big box store, any online store that sells kitchen cookware. Um, they really have become kind of the big name in cast iron. They're popular everywhere. Uh, a lot of the professional t uh, uh, kitchen shows and cooking shows will use these. Uh, Martha Stewart, I've seen uh, use these, and, and as well as other uh, celebrity type cooking shows. So. This is the stuff that uh, literally will last you a lifetime um, versus, you know, the stuff that most of us have, um, you know, these KitchenAid or other brand, there's a million different brands out there, Teflon coated, non-stick finish, whatever uh, you have. This stuff is, is, is junk. I mean, to be honest with you, um, this stuff is not going to last a lifetime. It's not even going to last you 10 years, probably not even going to last you five years. Uh, this stuff gets worn out and who knows what kind of stuff is flaking into your food while you're cooking. Um, you're cooking with plastic utensils, who knows what kind of chemicals are leaching out into your food. So why waste your money on something that you're going to have to, you know you're, right away when you buy it, you're going to have to get rid of it. Um, this is really one of the only things you can have in the kitchen. Uh, this and stainless steel type uh, utensils that you can literally say is going to last you your lifetime. Um, there's really not too much you can do to this to ruin it. You can leave these out in your yard for a year, bury them if you want to, come back the next year or 10 years later, 50 years later and get this out of there, clean it up with some steel wool, re-season it maybe once or twice and you will literally have a, a cast iron pan that's almost like brand new again. Um, so you know we need to stop buying stuff we know we're going to throw away. We need to stop buying stuff that we know is not going to last us. And this is healthier too, it's a lot healthier to cook with. And you know we find it has a you know better flavor in that when you're cooking with this as well. So the Lodge brand in particular, they've been producing this kind of stuff for over a hundred years. Uh, same facility, same factory down in Tennessee. They've literally focused on producing kitchen cookware. They do stainless steel stuff and they do cast iron, uh, but they have just a, an amazing line of products. So if you're interested in this stuff, check it out. I'll put some links in the description for Amazon links for the stuff that we have here um, and the Lodge cookbook, which is pretty awesome as well. Um, but a great family-run company, uh, you know, again, American-made. Most of this other stuff is made in China. Nothing against things made in China, but unfortunately, that's generally where companies go to cut costs, cut corners, and to try to produce the cheapest product they possibly can to compete with the other cheap junk out there. And uh, that's just not where I want to be. So, um, you know, look for something that's quality that you're going to have for a lifetime or at least a long time. So. Um, hopefully this has kind of helped give you some insight into cast iron. We haven't cooked with this stuff all our lives. We're just getting into it in the past six months or the past year. Uh, we were trying to switch over all of our kitchen products. We've gotten rid of almost all of our plastic stuff and uh, you know eventually we will be solely, solely cast iron. Um, it's been an amazing product to use. If I had to give this particular brand a star rating, it would easily be the first product I've given five stars. Uh, I have absolutely zero bad things to say about this uh, this company or the products that we have here so you know lodge cookware easily gives it a, give it a five star um, if you guys have questions or comments please throw them down below i always appreciate it um, again i will do a separate video on seasoning and caring for the cast iron because there's a little bit involved that's a little different with that and i'll kind of share what we've been using uh, to, to take care of these as well and what's worked and what hasn't um, please hit thumbs up on the video if you found it informational or educational at all um, and share what you're doing too you know if you guys have cast iron or don't or looking to switch you know Share, share with your story. Um, you know, what kind of experience have you had with cast iron in the past or, um, you know, in, or in the future? What are you looking to do? So I'd love to hear from you. Um, as always, I really appreciate you watching. Have a good one.